A fantastic Tuesday. Take a look at this scene behind me. I mean, it's just amazing. It makes me want to jump on Aladdin's carpet, the magic carpet, and just fly through Central Avenue. It looks like it'd be a fun time. Temperatures also aren't shabby. We're looking at 49 degrees. You know, if I just wear a coat, I think I'll be fine. I won't catch pneumonia. Not yet. As we look at elsewhere, temperatures around Helena, 56 degrees, Fort Benton, 57, out towards Lewistown, 52. Elsewhere, we are seeing similar temperatures, 50 degrees up in Cutbank, towards uh, Glasgow, 54, and Jordan, 50 degrees. Now, today in Helena, we saw temperatures get up to around 61 degrees, 13 degrees below the average for this time of year at 74. The record set back in 2015 at 95 degrees when Adele asked us hello. Can you hear me? And we we're like, yes, we can, and we'll buy your album. And in terms of precipitation, we're also seeing for this month 1.05 inches of rain. We are above the average just by around a tenth of an inch. But yet, when you go down and you look at us in terms of 2020, what are we seeing? Well, we are below average. So we do need that rain. And the good news is we will see that this weekend. Scattered chance, but we will hopefully get that. High pressure right now is in uh, Idaho as well as Oregon, and it's allowing our flow to be really out of the west as well as northwest, and that's why we saw the clouds that we saw today. We are also looking at a few showers still impacting areas around Helena, but the good news is they have been on the uh, downward side. As we head throughout the night into tomorrow, we're going to be looking at clouds still on the increase for a partly sunny start. As the high pressure does continue, though, to take hold, it will strengthen, allowing for us to really see a lot of dry conditions as well as sunny skies tomorrow. Could we see the potential for a scattered isolated shower? Yes, around 4 to 6 p.m. possibly, but I think that will mostly stay dry. By Thursday morning, high pressure starts to scoot down. We're going to see this cold front make its way, and as it does push south, we'll see our high pressure also pull, push south. Could see an isolated shower too on Thursday as well. And in terms of winds, we're seeing a breezy start to our uh, to our Wednesday. We're going to be looking at 30 to 40 mile per hour winds by 5 a.m. in Cutbank, 10 to 20 in Haver, Lewistown, Great Falls, as well as Glasgow. A little bit breezier in Helena, 20 to 30 mile per hour winds. Heading throughout the morning, 10 to 20 in Lewistown, as well as Great Falls, a breezier in Cutbank. And by 4 p.m., 10 to 20 in generally every location. Temperatures are going to be on the rise. We're talking the 80s, upper 80s, around uh, Friday. So it will be hot. You'll see me not outside. I'm going to be staying inside. And then we're going to dip down to around 68 degrees on Sunday. Now you can always follow me, meteorologist Grant Garland, on Facebook as well as Twitter and on Instagram. I'd love to get to connect with you and start to build up that bond. As we're heading throughout the next 12 hours by 5 a.m., 46 degrees with clear skies, 8 a.m., 54 with sunny skies. It will be a beautiful morning. Temperatures elsewhere, we're going to be getting down to around 45 degrees in Shoto, 43 in White Silver Springs, as well as Lewistown. As we head throughout the day tomorrow, temperatures warming up 10 a.m., 60 degrees by 4 p.m., 68. Start to introduce a chance for a few clouds rolling in for a partly sunny day. 72, though, will be the name of the game for our high. Partly sunny on Friday. Showers are possible on Saturday. Only a slight chance, though, it will be breezy. But then Sunday comes into the play, and that's when we could be looking at a better chance for showers. Back to you guys.